Okay guys, we are working on a 2006 Chevy Impala. I already have it racked and up in the air. Uh, the fault code that we're going to be dealing with, I'll get you a shot here on the screen using my wireless Varus here, It's kind of cool. Uh, the code we're going to be dealing with with this video is this P0449. Uh, definition of it is an EVAP emission vent solenoid control circuit problem. So this isn't going to be a, a leak test. I was brought down here because I was told we're gonna do a smoke test on this car. But when you see vent control or a code that says circuit, uh, that's dealing with an electrical problem, not a leak. So we're going to be going directly to this vent solenoid, which is why the car is up in the air behind me. Let me take you to the scan data next. And we're gonna to go to EVAP data. And there is a data PID that I wanna use. Uh, the one to the left is my vent solenoid command. We're not really worried about that one. It says it's venting, which it normally is. It's a normally open solenoid. Um, the vent solenoid control, or the one to the right, says EVAP vent solenoid circuit status. That is pretty cool. This is something new they're putting on some of the newer systems that actually gives me what the computer is looking at for this solenoid. And knowing the circuit design on these, these are ground side switched, uh, meaning that when the circuit is not turned on, the computer wants to see 12 volts. Uh, what this means is the computer seeing zero volts right now. And that's why it says short to ground or open. So we could actually use this instead of a voltmeter. Um, we'll probably end up doing both. Let's go to the solenoid now and take a look. Okay, we're back here at the vent solenoid under the left rear of the car. And I have the pink wire back probed already with a little T-pin. That is my feed wire. We're gonna get a voltage reading on that first. And that's gonna be twofold. The reason I wanna start there is I want to make sure that my ground location is good. And on, on this rusty frame, that can be an issue. So I'm just clipped on a bolt on the frame behind the camera. You can't see that. I'm going to hit my home tab, go to my scope multimeter. Just gonna use the graphing meter here. And you can see that we have a good feed. On this circuit, we have 12 volts. Let me get you a digital reading there too, 11.78. One of the things that can set this fault, of course, is a poor feed. If the computer again sees zero volts on this circuit, that's what you're going to have. Let's see if I can draw on this real quick. I don't know if it'll let me. All right, real quick for you guys that uh, are following along on Scanner Dan or Premium, this is section three or chapter three material in my book. And, and what we're talking about here is a ground side switch circuit. Forgive the writing here, I'm, I'm kind of in the field. Um, what we're dealing with with a ground side switch circuit is an external power, goes through a coil, comes to the computer, this being my PCM over here. 12 volts should be on this wire, which is the one we just checked. And right now with the circuit off, with the computer keeping the circuit off, this should be 12 volts on this side too. Um, the idea there is no current flow, no voltage drop. Inside the computer, there is a logic circuit that with it off, we want to see 12 volts. The code was saying uh, open or short, which means the computer right now with the circuit off is reading zero volts. Again, forgive the drawing here. I'm having trouble with this stylus and this program. So this reading right here is going to tell me everything I need to know about this circuit. Uh, let's get a voltage reading there real quick. Just moving my T-pin over to my control wire. Outputs, which is what this is. We call these control wires. You see on my see on my multimeter here. I'm reading 0.44 of a volt, and uh, basically that's zero. So that's exactly what we expected to see. 
And now the rest of this is going to be, is that solenoid sorted to ground? Circuit sorted to ground, causing the voltage to be low, or is the solenoid open itself? And uh, there's a few tests we can do. Uh, the first one would be, let's try to do a bi-directional test on the scan tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to command this. Vent solenoid to turn on. EVAP vent solenoid right here. Oops. Hopefully this won't have one of those timers that mess me up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close it, which energizes it. And what we'll do at the same time is we'll come back to our scope multimeter and take a look at this number, this 0.46 number. Okay, so we're at 0.46. Scan tool, going to close it. Back to my scope and you see the close. Right, so what that means right there, that drop in voltage from right where I'm at, right here, where you see that, my, my uh, little stylus, to here, where it goes low to zero, that means the computer driver is good. And what you're looking at in here, in this area, this 0.44 of a volt, that is just voltage that's floating around in the room. Basically an open circuit, it acts as a microphone and picks up this stray voltage. That's what that is. This is a good circuit for sure. With it energized, I can show it to you another way too. Uh, and that's gonna be with a test light. All right, so I have my test light rigged up. Um, I'm back probing the uh, control wire and I am front probing the feed wire or vice versa, one of the two. And just so we're clear, my, my test light is not um, um, in the female terminal, it's on the side of it between the terminal and the plastic housing. So we, we have to be careful. We don't spread terminals doing this. And so what I'm going to show you guys is just a simple bi-directional test. When I command this solenoid to turn on, that light lights, turn it off, on and off. So again, confirming what I, what I showed you on the scope, which was the, the stray voltage float, floating around in the room, and you see that voltage drop when we turned this driver on. That in itself told us that our solenoid was open, and um, that's it, man. It needs a vent solenoid. Uh, real quick, back to this picture. Um, we had, with the solenoid off, we had zero volts in this location. That means the coil itself was open. The computer saw zero volts and flagged the diagnostic trouble code, okay? With that test light installed right now, um, that's acting as a good solenoid. And if I shut, hang on, let me back up. The only time the computer wants to see zero volts is when it turns it on. And right now, that's what we have with the circuit on. If I turn the circuit off, let me go back to the scan tool. If I turn the circuit off, okay, and then show you guys the vent solenoid circuit status right here. Notice before it said short to ground or open and now it says incomplete. It says incomplete because I guess the code is still there and it hasn't run the test on it. Um, I don't wanna clear the codes because we have another one we need to attack still in this vehicle. But if I take this off, yeah, there's your open or short to ground open status comes back. And then when I put my test light in there as if the solenoid was good, you see it drops down to incomplete. Again, if I'd clear these fault codes out of here, we could get this circuit to say okay. So that's pretty cool. You can use the scan tool to do the same thing. And uh, one more time in case I wasn't clear. Let's, let's get rid of some of this crap. This again is all section three material that I cover in my engine performance class available on Scanner Danner Premium. This circuit was at zero volts all the time. Computer logic should be, this is a good circuit, on equals zero volts, should be a zero, and off equals 
12 volts. And what the computer was seeing with it off is it was seeing zero volts. And with my test light in there, the test light, the voltage is actually going through my test light bulb on its way to the computer. There's no ground yet. And so the computer is seeing now 12 volts with the circuit off. And that's why the circuit is passing. Boy, is this bad. We do our checks voltage wise on the solenoid. We had zero in this location. You wanna make sure your feed is good. We did that. And then to make sure the circuit isn't shorted to ground, that's why we did the rest of our checks. The voltage drop, the hash, and then the voltage getting clean. That was one test we did. And then putting the test light in here, connected to battery positive confirmed that we did not have this the light did not light we already knew that anyway we turned the driver on the light lit confirming circuit integrity confirming driver open solenoid forgive the drawing i do a much better job on this in my lectures again that's chapter three so that's it for this one open vent solenoid very common problem that's how you troubleshoot it